Mrs Fig's Magic School. Good morning, Your Majesties. Good morning, Annie Plum. Princess Holly would like to show you how well she is doing with her magic. Yes, I would. That's lovely, sweetie. She will now cast a spell for you. It's not magic jelly, is it? No, no. Not magic jelly. You can choose. What would you like best in the whole wide world? Could you make me something pretty? OK. Abracadabity-bobbity-boo! <laughs> What is it? It seems to be a box of burps, Your Majesty. No! That's disgusting! Sorry, Daddy. I think it's about time Holly had some proper magic lessons. Very good, Your Majesty. I'll just fetch my wand. No, Nanny Plum. I mean proper lessons at a proper school. School? Yes. Holly is old enough to go to Mrs Fig's magic school. Ooh, Mrs Fig's magic school. I went there when I was little. It sounds fun. Can my friends come as well? Of course. Violet, Rosie, Strawberry and Fleur can go to magic school too. Can Ben come along? Oh, remember Ben is an elf and elves don't like magic. Ben will most likely be at elf school today. Good morning, children. Good morning, wise old elf. This morning's lesson is called Why Elves Don't Do Magic. Who can tell me why elves don't do magic? Because we're elves. <laughs> yes, Ben, but can anyone tell me why we don't do magic? Because we're elves. <laughs> yes, yes, I know, but why don't we? Is it because... Magic always leads to trouble. Yes, Jake. Magic always leads to trouble. This way, girls. And talking of trouble... Hello, wise old elf. Hi, Ben. Hi, Holly. We're going to magic school. Ooh, can we go to the magic school too, wise old elf? No, I forbid it. Oh, please, wise old elf. Please, please. Oh, very well. Today's lesson will be to see how magic <laughs> always leads to trouble. This way to the magic school. Ah, magic school. I suppose it'll all be pink and fluffy and covered in glitter. That sounds nice. Here we are, Mrs Fig's magic school. Oh, what a sensible building. It could have been built by an elf. I know. It's a bit ugly, isn't it? It's very sensible. Now, girls and boys, you'll soon be meeting Mrs Fig. She taught me everything I know. Ooh. Mrs Fig liked me. I used to call her Old Figgy. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning, children. Morning, morning Old Figgy. Figgy. My name is Mrs Fig. Morning, Mrs Fig. Fig. That's better. Hello, Figgy. Remember me? Ah, Nanny Plum. How could I forget? I told you I was her best pupil. In all my years of teaching, Nanny Plum, I never had another pupil like you. Thank you. And I am the wise old elf. Elves? At magic school? Yes, we're here to see the magic all go wrong. Nothing will go wrong at Mrs Fig's magic school. Now, who do we have here? I'm Princess Holly. Princess Holly, what do you and your little friends know about magic? Oh, I've taught them lots of things. Let's say you know nothing. Now, what's the most important rule of magic? Don't do magic. Correct. What? But where's the fun in that? Magic is not meant to be fun. Ho, ho, ho. I like this lesson. Magic is only meant to be used for sensible things by sensible people. Now, pretend you are in the kitchen doing the washing up. Are you going to wash the dirty dishes using magic? Yes. Stop. That's just the sort of thing you can do by hand. What? what? That's just plain wrong. But 
If you come across a particularly stubborn stain on a saucepan, then perhaps you could use magic. Leave it to soak overnight. Why not just magic the whole lot clean and get on with something fun? I am the teacher, Nene Plum. Sorry, Figgy. And now for the magic lesson. Hooray! First, we have to warm up. Let's start with a little jog. No, not the jogging. Outside, chop, chop. Run around, everyone. What does running have to do with magic? Nothing. It builds character. I don't need any more character, thank you. Are you all having fun? Yes! Right, stop. Jogging is not meant to be fun. <sighs> Now, who would like to show me their favourite spell? Me! Anyone else? I can do a growing spell. Very good. Show us your growing spell, please. OK. Bappity boppity bow. Grow, grow, grow! Ah! Not me! <laughs> She's just growing and growing. Stop it! Stop it! I know how to do growing. But not stopping. That's easy. Stop, Figgy, stop. And who taught you that growing spell? Me. I might have known. Well, it did work. You grew a lot. I know a spell to make things smaller. Wait, don't. Dibbly, dobbly, do. Small, small, small. <laughs> ah! Mrs Fig is still shrinking. Help! Help! She's getting teenier and teenier. She's never going to stop shrinking. Help! Help! Oh, I'd better grow her again. Figgy, figgy, fig. Back too big. How are you feeling? I am very, very, very angry. So, as you see, children, Magic always leads to trouble. They were two very silly spells. Can anyone think of a useful spell? Magic jelly! Magic jelly? Yes, that's very useful. Well, I suppose magic jelly has its uses. Like at a children's party. Or a picnic. Or as a yummy pudding. OK, magic jelly. But let's get someone sensible to wave the wand. Me, me, me! I'll do it! Who is the most sensible person here? The wise old elf. The wise old elf shall wave the wand. Me? But I'm not a fairy. I don't do magic. Exactly. The perfect person. Oh, I don't think so. No, <laughs> It wouldn't be right. Nonsense! We just need a bit of fairy dust. You are now magical! My body is all tingly. I don't like it. Don't worry, you won't be magical for very long. Just wave the wand and say, jelly, jelly, but not a lot. Uh, jelly, jelly, but not a lot. <gasps> oh! oh, it worked! Can I turn Nanny Plum into a frog? Ha! I'd like to see you try. I say, this is fun. Oh, what happened? <laughs> Wise old elf, what are you doing? Having fun. Magic is not meant to be fun. What would happen if I asked for a lot of jelly? Try it and see. Jelly, jelly, jelly. And lots of it. No, stop. We don't want a jelly flag. <laughs> Plum. It wasn't me. It was him. That's ridiculous. Elves don't do magic. Actually, Your Majesty, it was the wise old elf. Even old Figgy telling tales now. It's true. The wise old elf did it. Oh, dear. I believe I did do the spell. Fancy that. The wise old elf doing magic. <laughs> you have been naughty. 
Yes, and it just goes to show that magic always leads to trouble. Mrs. Witch's Spring Clean. Mrs. Witch, are you in? Oh, hello, Nanny Plum. What are you doing here? I'm here to spring clean your cottage. And these are my helpers, Ben and Holly. Hello, Mrs. Mrs. Witch. Witch. Right, spring clean time. Oh. Goodness me, what a mess. Yes, I'm a terrible one for keeping things. I just can't throw anything away. Never mind, I'll throw things away for you. It, yes, the problem is everything in here is magical and dangerous. So someone has to look after it. What? Even this dishcloth? That's a little magic carpet from a magic doll's house. Well, where is this doll's house? Uh, I'm not sure. So you don't need it then, do you? What about this old mirror? That's my magic mirror. Hmm. What's this? That's my magic lamp. There's a genie in it, you know. Of course there is. Oh, dear. I'm not sure I want to spring clean. Ugh, what's this horrid stuff? My slug jam. Slug jam? We'll get rid of that for you. Good. Job done. Uh, thanks. You're really very kind. Nanny Plum, are these things really magical? No. It's just a load of old junk. Now, we've got to get rid of it all, starting with the slug jam. Slug jam? Ugh, disgusting. Nobody would want to eat that. I know. I'll put it safely at the back of the cupboard where no one can find it. I wonder if Mummy would like this mirror. My mum might like this pretty lamp. And maybe someone would want the old carpet. It'd have to be someone with very bad taste. That's a nice carpet. Mrs. Witch is throwing it away. Oh, it's not magical, is it? No, Nanny Plum said it's just junk. Do you want it? Yes, I would like it. Thank you. Ah, very nice. Very cosy. Beautiful blue sea and golden sand. It's a tropical paradise. A tropical paradise? I wish I was there. Ah! It is a magic carpet. Whoa! 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 Now listen here, you naughty magic carpet. Take me back at once. Whoa! Hello, Daddy. I've got a present for Mummy. Oh. Where is Mummy? She's been locked in the bathroom for ages, getting ready to go out. And I'm hungry. Here I am. You look lovely, Mummy. I've got something for you. Oh, thank you, my dear. It's a magic mirror. Mrs Witch didn't want it anymore. So, what does the magic mirror do? I tell the truth. Oh, how exciting. Mirror, mirror on the wall, who is the fairest of them all? You are, Queen Thistle. Oh, how wonderful. Well, you normally are the fairest of them all. Oh, what do you mean? Well, it's a bit of a bad hair day today, isn't it? Oh, dear. Now I'll have to start all over again. <laughs> what did you say that for? Just telling the truth, Your Majesty. Now we'll be eating even later, and I'm starving. Hello, Mum. I've got a present for you. Mrs Witch had a spring clean and she threw this out. A lamp. Isn't it nice? Oh, lovely. Very brassy. I'll just give it a polish. I am the genie of the lamp. Oh, he's very manly. Yeah. <laughs> I will grant you three wishes. What should we wish for? Why don't you dance for us? <laughs> Your wish is my command. <laughs> I wish for loud music. Very well. <laughs> I wish we had a big party with all of us dancing. That is your third and final wish. Uh, I can't stop! Ah, uh, neither can I! No more dancing! Stop it now! <laughs> 
but you have used up your three wishes. Bye-bye. Oh, no! I don't want to dance forever. Let's go and see King Thistle. He can sort it out. How are you doing in there, darling? I'm hungry. I'm ready. Mummy, you look super. Uh, yes, you look lovely. Right, let's go eat. I'll just ask the mirror what it thinks. Mirror, mirror, on the wall, how does my hair look now? Honestly, not good. Oh, dear. I don't know what to do. Let me help. I am a magic mirror, after all. Oh! There you go. Sorted. That's horrid. Change my hair back. No, it looks great. King Thistle, do something. Nobody will notice your hair. Come on, let's go to dinner. No, no. I can't go out like this. <laughs> <sighs> I'm going to get a snack. Now then, what would be a lovely, tasty snack? Aha! Why does Nanny always put the best stuff at the back of the cupboard? Mmm, jam. Help! Help! What on earth is that awful racket? Pink thistle! Pink thistle! I wish for a big party and now I can't stop dancing! Oh, really? It was a genie from the witch's old lamp! Please help us, King Thistle! Witch's magic, eh? I can't help. Fairy magic doesn't work on witch's magic. Sorry and all that. Ah! Why, so old elf? What are you doing up there? This witch's carpet just flew me off to a tropical paradise. Ah! Well, just keep the noise down. There's a good fellow. My hair! My hair! The mirror has made it even worse. I don't think I can stand much more dancing. How do I stop this thing? Well, if you will all play around with witch's magic... <laughs> That's the most disgusting thing I've ever... Uh, Daddy, where did you get that jam? From the back of Nanny's cupboard. <gasps> You've just eaten the witch's slug jam. And it's a bit worse than that. It's magic slug jam. Oh, no! What's going to happen to me now? Um, you might change into a... Slug. This is outrageous! Magic mirrors, flying carpets, magic lamps, slug jam. Mrs Witch can jolly well take all this stuff back. Mrs Witch! Mrs Witch! Oh, hello, King Thistle. I see you tried my slug jam. Ah, uh, yes. Could you turn me back into myself, please? Don't you like being a slug? It's delightful. I just feel a bit, uh, sticky. Oh, very well. Ah, oh, that's better. Mrs Witch, can you stop us dancing? Of course. And can you magic my hair back to normal? My pleasure. And would you mind taking all this stuff back? I don't want it. Eh? Hey, what? Throwing out all those old things made me realise I needed a proper spring clean. Anyone want a magic saucepan? Now what do we do? All this stuff is too dangerous to just leave lying around. Hmm, this is King's work. Gosh, what have you done to your house? What do you mean? I really liked it how you had it before. Much more witchy. Oh. This lamp would look really good here. That's where I had it. This slug jam would look nice here. That's where it's always lived. The carpet here and the mirror here. Just where I had them. You really have got good taste, Mrs Witch. That's why you've got such a nice little house. Oh, thank you. You're a lovely man. Oh, well, you know, I do my best. Goodbye, Mrs Witch. Goodbye, everyone. Thanks for all your help. Daddy, did you really think that Mrs Witch's house was nicer with all that stuff in it? No, it was a big smelly mess. Why didn't you say so then? There's a time for telling someone their house is a big smelly mess and a time for being just nice. Gaston goes to the vet. Ben! <sighs> Morning, Dad. I'm a 
Haven't you even started packing yet? We're going on holiday today, remember? We're not leaving for ages, Mr Elf. Please try and relax. I'll try, Mrs Elf, but you know I find holidays difficult. Hi, Ben. Hi, Holly. <coughs> I'm taking Gaston to the vet. Do you want to come along? Yes. No, no, no. You're not going anywhere, Ben. You've got to stay home and pack your holiday bag. Oh, please let me go, Dad. It's ages before we have to set off on holiday. And we'll be really quick. Gaston's just going to the vets for a checkup. OK, to the vets and straight back. No dawdling. Yes, Dad. See you later. Why is Gaston on a lead? He didn't really want to go to the vet. He's never been before. <coughs> Here we are, the vets. <coughs> Don't worry, Gaston. The vet is really nice. <coughs> Hi, Strawberry. We've come to see the vet. <laughs> That's my mum. She's the vet. Come in. <coughs> mum, Ben and Holly have brought Gaston for his <coughs> checkup. <coughs> Hello, Gaston. There is nothing to worry about. <coughs> Prop Gaston up on my table, please. What a good ladybird. Now, let's have a look in your mouth. Hmm, <coughs> nice healthy teeth. <coughs> Wow, you're really good with animals. Well, I am a vet. She's my mum. Let's check your eyes. <laughs> His eyes look really big. Nearly done now. We'll just take your temperature. <coughs> Temperature's fine. All is good, good, good. Gaston, you're a fit and healthy ladybird. <coughs> Here's a sticker. For a very brave boy. <laughs> Bye, Gaston. I shouldn't need to see you again for quite a while. Well done, brave boy. <laughs> <sighs> What's taking Ben so long? Mr Elf, we don't need to leave for ages. Relax. <laughs> We're back. And not a moment too soon. We've got really good news. Gaston is fit and healthy. And the vet gave him a sticker for being a very brave boy. Lovely. Now, Ben, start packing. We're going on holiday, remember? Uh, Dad, I just had a very good idea. Yes? Gaston can come with us on holiday. Oh, yes! That's a super idea. No, this is a family holiday. Gaston is family. Um, where we're going, I don't think they allow pets. Yes, they do. Well, Gaston's not coming, and that's final. Aww. Now, for the one millionth time, Ben, please start packing your holiday bag. Yes, Dad. Come on, Ben. I'll help you pack. Fairies are good at packing holiday bags, and I'm a fairy. I'll help too. <laughs> <laughs> right, what am I going to pack? Hmm, probably simplest, just to pack everything. How about this ball? <laughs> you want to play, don't you, Gaston? <laughs> Catch! <laughs> Well done! Gaston's great at catching! <laughs> Here, boy! Catch! <laughs> Gaston! Are you all right? He's had his feeler! We'll have to take him back to the vet! <laughs> ben, have you packed your holiday bag? Yes, Dad! Good! So now there's nothing to stop us setting off! We can leave as soon as we get back from the vets! Back from the vets? Uh, but, but, but... Uh... Look after that leg. And that leg. And that leg. And that leg. And that leg. And... Mum, Gaston's hurt himself! Oh dear, you better bring him straight in. I didn't expect to see you back so soon, Gaston. <coughs> it's a bit sore, isn't it? <coughs> I'll bandage it for you. And I'll sprinkle on a little fairy dust, just to make it heal quickly. There. Gaston scratching it. No, Gaston, you mustn't scratch it or it won't get better. 
I'll just pop on this plastic collar. Now he can't scratch it. <coughs> Sorry, Gaston. Here's another sticker for being so brave. <coughs> Be careful now. I don't want to see you back here again. <coughs> Mrs Elf, have you got the holiday tickets? Yes, here they are. Good. Throw them down to me. Oh, I'm not sure that's such a good idea, Mr Elf. You might not catch them. <laughs> I'll catch them. OK, if you're sure. You see, elves are great at catching and I'm an elf. <laughs> 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 Why has Gaston got that big collar on? Don't laugh, Dad. You'll upset Gaston. Sorry, Gaston. Here are the car keys. Shall I bring them down? <laughs> Just throw them to me, Mrs Elf. If you're sure. <laughs> Gaston caught the keys. Gaston's great at catching, even with that collar on. Yes. Uh, well done, Gaston. Give me the car keys back now. <gasps> He's swallowed the keys. The keys are in Gaston's tummy. <gasps> Stop that, Mr Elf. But he swallowed the car keys. We have to get them back. Holly, have you got your wand with you? Yes, Mr Elf. Good. Use magic to turn Gaston inside out. <gasps> what? I'm not sure that's a very good idea. We'll have to take Gaston back to the vet. She can get the keys out. Come on, then. Quick! Hello, Gaston. I didn't expect to see you again so soon. <laughs> What's the matter? He swallowed my car keys. Now, Gaston, let's have a look at you. Hmm... I see. Good, good. I have some very good news. Yes? Gaston's feeler is better. Eh? I can take Gaston's collar off. <laughs> Hooray! And here's a sticker for being a brave boy again. <laughs> uh, that's all really lovely and great and everything, but how do I get my car keys back? Ah, uh, that. OK, I'll see if I can find them. Let's take a look in the front end. Hmm, nothing here. Now the back end. Nothing here either. Now for the middle. I'll use the X-ray. Hold still. There they are. The keys. So how do we get them out? We let nature take its course. Let nature take its course? What does that mean? I think she means wait for him to poo it out. That's right. We all just have to follow him around for a bit. <laughs> Aha! Looks like Gaston might be about to, um, go. How disgusting. But at least we'll be getting the keys back. Oh, he only did a wee. Ah, oh, the little darling. We just have to wait for him to go in his own time. In his own time? But we don't have any more time. We're going to be late for the holiday. Did you get the keys? Um, we have to wait for nature to take its course. What does that mean? It means we have to wait for Gaston to... <coughs> <coughs> Gaston's coughing. What's wrong with him now? <coughs> the keys! Mr Elf, you're a very lucky man. Yes. Well, Gaston, you certainly deserve another Brave Boy sticker. <coughs> <laughs> Soon, Gaston will have more stickers than spots. Gaston's been through a lot. He could do with somewhere warm and nice for a good rest. He can come on holiday with us. That would be perfect. I'm sorry, but I did say Gaston couldn't come. But that was before he'd been sick. Uh, he probably needs a pet's passport. I can give him one of those. It's settled then. Gaston can come on holiday with us. <laughs> Yay! Yay. Have a lovely holiday, Ben. Keep Gaston warm. Have you got food for him? And a cushion? Yes. Bye, Gaston. And remember, I don't want to see you again for a long, long time. <laughs> the Queen Bakes Cakes.
Hello, Mrs. Fig. Lovely autumn day, isn't it? Um, yes, wise old elf. Only problem is, the apples are starting to fall. Wow, that was close. So far, I've been lucky. They've all missed my magic school. Oh, that one didn't miss. Oh, dear. My poor magic school. Broken. Well, you're a fairy. Can't you just mend it with magic? No. Magic always leads to trouble. You don't like magic, do you, Mrs Fig? That's right, Holly. I want to mend the school the normal, sensible, safe way by using a builder. Well, you're in luck. I'm a builder, but it won't be cheap. We're going to need bricks, cement, roof tiles. I know. We'll have a cake stall. The money we make from selling cakes will pay for the repairs. A cake stall? It sounds fun. Let's tell everyone to get baking. Daddy! Daddy! An apple fell on Mrs Fig's magic school. And now the school has a big hole in it. Oh, dear. That's a shame. Mrs Fig is asking everybody to bake cakes to raise money. Bake cakes? Uh, well, don't tell your mother about that. About what, darling? Mrs Fig is running a cake stall. Oh, how exciting. I'll bake some cakes. R really? There's no need. Mrs Fig needs them today. Then I'd better start straight away. Oh, no. What is it, Daddy? Your mother is not very good at baking cakes. Oh. She bakes horrible cakes and she gets very upset if anyone doesn't like them. dum de dum de dee de doo That's odd. Who's in my kitchen? <gasps> the Queen baking cake! Yes, Nanny Plum. Would you like to try a cake? Maybe later. Cakes! Cakes! The Queen's baking cakes! I know. We'll have to leave the country. Pack a bag, everyone. The Queen's cakes can't be that bad. They're worse than bad. They're... Cake time. Who wants to try my lovely cakes? Uh, <gasps> um, um, oh, um... I've got rock cakes... Fudge cake and gingerbread. They look lovely. In fact, they look too good to eat. You don't want to eat them, do you? You think they're horrid. No, no, no. I can't wait to try them. Have a rock cake. Ow! Did you just say ow? No, I said oh. Is it nice? It's inedible. I, I mean, incredible. But maybe I'll save it for later. Try the fudge cake. Ah, uh, isn't it someone else's turn? Don't you want my fudge cake? Of course I do. What do you think? <coughs> Tasty? <coughs> Are you all right, Daddy? My mother's stuck. What's he saying? I'm saying my mother's stuck. Oh, I think his mouth is stuck shut. <coughs> Oh, that was horrific! You think the fudge cake is too sticky, don't you? You hate it! No, no, of course not, darling. It's uh, amazing! Oh, good. Try the gingerbread. Dunk it in your coffee. That will make it all soft and yummy. Um, the coffee's just rolled off it. It's completely dry. Take a bite. You know, maybe I'll save this one for later, too. OK. Well, I can't stand around chatting. I've got loads more cakes to bake. Rock-hard rock cakes, super sticky fudge, waterproof gingerbread. We'll have to warn the whole of the Little Kingdom. The Queen's baking cakes! <laughs> Baking cakes! Oh, no! I can't eat one of those cakes again. No one can eat them and survive. Hello! Cake time, everyone! Uh, yes, but you shouldn't have troubled yourself, Your Majesty. We already have lots of cake. You don't want my cakes? Oh, yes, we do. You think they're horrible, don't you? Of course we don't. Oh, Good, then. I'll put them here. That should raise lots of money to mend your school, Mrs Fig. 
Thank you, Your Majesty. Maybe I should have used magic to mend the school. It would have been less dangerous. Keep clear of the cakes. No one eat them. Ooh, cakes. Wait! Yow! What kind of a cake is that? It's a rock cake. Queen Thistle baked it. Oh, the queen baking again. The fudge cake glues your mouth shut. And the gingerbread is waterproof. Incredible. What can these things be made of? I want to do some tests on these cakes. This machine tests how strong things are. Let's start with something very weak, like this egg. The egg had a strength of one. Now let's try a brick. The brick had a strength of five. Now let's try the Queen's rock cake. Nothing has gone to eleven before. Stand up, everyone! <gasps> the cake broke the machine. That cake is the strongest substance known to man. The fudge cake stuck Daddy's mouth shut. Hmm. Let's test how sticky it really is. Stop, wise old elf! Don't touch the fudge cake! You'll be stuck to it forever! OK, let's just say the Queen has created the stickiest substance known to man. What about the gingerbread? Daddy dipped it in his coffee and it stayed dry. Let's see how waterproof it is. Amazing! The most waterproof substance known to man. These cakes must be locked away. They must never be eaten. Not eaten, no. But maybe they can be used for something else. I do hope I've made enough cakes. What if they need more for the cake stall? Trust me, they won't want any more cake. More cake, please. Really? Yes, as many as you can bake. And fudge cake. And gingerbread. Oh, goody. They love my cakes. I'd better get baking. Who's eating all these cakes? Eating them? No one's eating them. So why do you want more? These cakes are the perfect building material. The rock cakes are super strong bricks. We're gluing them together using the super sticky fudge cake. And then the super waterproof gingerbread makes great roof tiles. Amazing! But of course, you must never tell the Queen. Never tell the Queen what? Uh... Oh, Mrs Fig, you've mended the school. So you managed to raise enough money by selling my cakes. Um, let's just say your cakes were a great help. Yes, three cheers for Queen Thistle. Hip, hip, hooray! hooray! Hip, hip, hooray! hooray! Hip, hip! Hang on. These bricks look just like my rock cakes. Uh, yes. And this cement is just like my fudge cake. It is my fudge cake. Oh, no! At least she hasn't spotted the roof. And the roof tiles are my gingerbread. You didn't want to eat my cakes. Well, they're not really for eating, are they, darling? Not if you want to survive. I thought everybody liked my cakes, but nobody did. I wish I'd never baked a single cake. <laughs> but, Mummy, if we hadn't baked any cakes, we wouldn't have mended the school. Holly is right. It's only because of your baking the magic school is fixed. I suppose that's true. Hooray for Queen Thistle! Hooray! In fact, we could do with some cakes to finish the chimney. If you don't mind baking some more. Could you make some bricks for my house? I want to build a patio. Do you do paving slabs? Well, I suppose I could. Do you do drain pipes? Do you do MDF? Everyone loves my mummy's cakes. <laughs> Uncle Gaston. <laughs> Hi, Gaston. 
Gaston. I'll be right down. Oh, you're blue. Have you got a cold or something? Hi, Ben. Hi, Gaston. <gasps> What's happened to Gaston? <coughs> Nanny, you can speak, Ladybird. What's Gaston saying? <coughs> oh, he's saying he's not Gaston. He's Gaston's brother, Tony. <coughs> I didn't know Gaston had a brother. Me neither. <coughs> and Tony has come here with his family. This is Pam. <coughs> 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 And these are their children, Amber, Emerald and Keith. Ah, oh, look, they are so cute. <laughs> Hello, you lot. <laughs> They've come to visit Gaston, but they're lost. We'll take you to Gaston. Come on, this way. <laughs> Gaston, your brother Tony has come to visit. <laughs> oh, look! <laughs> they love their uncle Gaston. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, dear. What? What is it? What are they saying? Well, they wrote Gaston a letter asking if he could look after their children for a day. <laughs> but he ate the letter. <laughs> yes, Gaston likes eating letters. So Gaston had no idea he was supposed to be looking after the little ones. <laughs> Don't worry, we'll help Gaston look after them. Yes, it'll be fun. <laughs> Bye! Nanny Plum! Oh, that's the king. What does he want? Nanny Plum! I can't find my glasses. Have you tried looking on your head? Oh, yes. Now, where's my crown? Nanny! Oh, I'll have to go. Have fun, you two, and Uncle Gaston. <laughs> <laughs> Keith's riding on Gaston's back. <laughs> now the other two want to go. <laughs> oh, Gaston looks a bit tired. Have a little rest, Gaston. We'll play with the baby ladybirds for a bit. Let's play fetch. OK, Amber, fetch. <laughs> <laughs> Emerald wants to go too. And Keith. <laughs> They're very fast. Don't they ever get tired? <laughs> Hi, Ben. Hi, Holly. Oh, look. Baby lazy birds. Aren't they adorable? <laughs> They're called Amber, Emerald and Keith. And Gaston's their uncle. <laughs> They're a bit hyper. We know. They need a nap. When my little sister doesn't have a nap, she gets overtired. What happens then? She cries. <laughs> See what I mean? They can have a sleep in Gaston's cave. There you are, baby ladybirds. Now you can have a little rest. They don't seem very tired. Come on, lie down. Oh, they're not doing it. How can we get them to sleep? Hmm, to make my little sister sleepy, my mum reads her a storybook. Gaston's got storybooks. But looks like he's eaten them all. I've got lots of storybooks back home. Dee -dee -da -dum. Ah, lovely clean washing. Gaston, no! I'm not having muddy footprints all over my washing today, thank you. Ah! Hi, Nanny. We've brought the baby ladybirds over. Yes, I see. <sighs> <sighs> Tired today, eh, Gaston? 
At least that means you won't be jumping up on me and licking my face. <laughs> ah! Goodness me, baby ladybirds. Yes, Amber, <laughs> Emerald and Keith. Well, well. So Gaston is a girl ladybird after all. No, Gaston's a boy ladybird. He's their uncle. He's looking after them for the day. Are they house trained? Nearly. Oh, adorable little puppy ladybirds. Can they stay, Mummy? I'm sorry, Holly, but it's of not... Of course they can. Yay! I'm going to read a storybook to make the baby ladybirds sleepy. Oh, but where are the baby ladybirds? They've gone! Sounds like they're upstairs. <gasps> they're in Daisy and Poppy's room. I'll go and get them. No, Ben. Daisy and Poppy can be a bit dangerous. I'll go. <laughs> <laughs> baby birds, baby birds. Daisy, Poppy, they're not your dollies. They're baby ladybirds. Baby birds. Ruff, 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 ruff. Here they are. Um, how many baby ladybirds are there? Three. Hmm, there seem to be four now. And one of them's wearing a crown. Oh, no! That's Mummy. They've turned her into a baby ladybird. Baby birds, baby birds. <laughs> Daisy, Poppy, it's very naughty to turn your mother into a ladybird. Oof! Thank you, darling. <coughs> oh, dear. It's all right, King Thistle. They're just getting overtired. Right. Where are your storybooks, Holly? In my bedroom. <laughs> they like Holly's bed. They've got so much energy. I love this storybook. No, Gaston. It's not for eating. <laughs> rock a -bye baby on the treetops. When the wind blows, the cradle will rock. When the bell breaks, the cradle will fall. And down will come baby, cradle and all. Down will come baby, cradle and all? That's not very nice. You're right. Um, what about this one? It's about ladybirds. Ladybird, ladybird, fly away home. Your house is on f... Oh dear, this one's even more scary. How about this one? Once upon a time, there were three little pigs. Can't you make it more about ladybirds, Ben? OK. Once upon a time, there were three little ladybirds and they each built a little house. One was made of straw, one was made of sticks and one was made of bricks. What happened next? Well, one day, a big bad wolf came along to the straw house and he huffed and he puffed and he... Does the story have a happy ending? Um, let's see. Uh, no. I mean, let's just say the three little piggies, I mean ladybirds, lived happily ever after. So the wolf didn't eat any of them? Not even one? No, no, no. Of course not. It was all happy. The end. Ben, look. They're all asleep. Oh, yes. We did it. What time are their mummy and daddy coming to collect them? Oh, I've just thought. Their mummy and daddy won't know where we are. Oh! 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 What is it, Gaston? Oh. He's heard something. Oh! 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 Gaston, they found us. <laughs> oh, they've woken up already. How come they've got so much energy again? Mm, it might be something to do with them having a little sleep. Yes, my little sister's always got tons of energy after she's had a nap. Oh. <laughs> they do love their Uncle Gaston. And Uncle Gaston loves them too. <laughs> Miss Jolly's Riding Club 
Now, as you can see, Ben, the cabbages are ready to eat. Yes, Dad. Fascinating things, cabbages. Yes, Dad. Today we'll be harvesting them. Then we can have cabbage soup every night. Yes, Dad. We can have cabbage soup Monday, cabbage soup Tuesday, cabbage soup Wednesday, cabbage soup. Hi, Ben. Oh, hi, Holly. We're off to Miss Jolly Snail Riding Club. Yeah, snails, horrible things. No, they're adorable. There's Dobbin. <laughs> and Robin Hood. He's the cheeky one. <laughs> I want to ride Cupcake. He's lovely. They're all lovely. <laughs> snails are not lovely. They eat up my cabbages. But they're so fun to ride. Would you boys like to come along? Riding club sounds a bit girly to me. It's not girly. The snails can go pretty fast. I suppose we could try it. Yes, cowboys ride, don't they? We could wear our cowboy hats. All right, let's go. <laughs> Just keep those snails away from my cabbages. <laughs> Jolly's Riding Club. But where's Miss Jolly? Whoa, trigger! <laughs> Steady, boy! Hello, everyone! Morning, Miss Jolly! Are you ready for a good day's riding? Yes, Miss Jolly! Spiffing! I see we have some cowboys here today. Yee-haw! <laughs> One thing to remember, snails don't like loud noises. They're quite shy. Yes, Miss Jolly. Don't worry, Trigger. The cowboy is your friend. <laughs> Jolly good. Let's go and meet your snails. Here are Dobbin, Muffin, Cupcake. They're so adorable. Toffee, Bobby, Speedy, Robin Hood and Samson. Uh, Miss Jolly? Yes? Samson doesn't seem to have a shell. That's because he's a slug. Ugh. A slug. Who would want to ride a slug? <laughs> now, children, you must never walk behind a snail. Why not? It might give you a jolly good kick, that's why. Woohoo! Speedy's got a bit of spirit. <laughs> <laughs> you need to get to know your snails. Hold out your hand so they can sniff it. <laughs> Hello, Bobby. The snails will be shy until they get to know you. Give Bobby a pat on the shell. Come on, Bobby. Don't be frightened. Well done. Now she's your friend. Can we ride them now? First, there's jobs to be done, like mucking out the stables. What's mucking out? Cleaning up snail poo. Snail poo? Ew. <laughs> Everyone take a bucket and spade. Off you go. Snail poo. It's all smelly and squelchy. <laughs> That's the spirit. <laughs> Excellent. And now you must all wash your hands. <laughs> Next, it's grooming. What's grooming? Cleaning and polishing. Everyone take a brush and give the shells a jolly good scrub. Will groom Speedy. <laughs> Easy now. Easy now. We just want to polish your shell. <laughs> Whoa, steady boy. He's a bit frisky, this one. Good boy. Bobby's looking very nice. So is Dobbin. <laughs> Look at Muffin. He's so shiny. Excellent job. Lovely. Well done. Now, before we ride the blighters, they need some nosh. What's nosh? Food. Everybody take some vegetables and hold them out for the snails. Here's a carrot, Robin Hood. Here you go, Bobby. A lovely cabbage leaf. They like fresh vegetables. They're so hungry. Oh, yes. They'd eat all day if you let them. <laughs> now, time for the riding. Everybody choose a snail. Oh, 
Can I ride Bobby, please? Yes. <laughs> I'm on a snail. I'll ride Robin Hood. <laughs> I'll ride Muffin. Toffee. Cupcake. I'll ride Speedy. Ah, oh, the thing is, Speedy hasn't been broken in yet. What do you mean? I mean, no one has ever ridden him. He's too frisky. <laughs> yes, he's a young one, full of beans, you know. Can I be the first to ride Speedy today? You can have a go, but you need to get on his back and he'll try and throw you off. Sounds like a job for an elf cowboy. I like your spirit, Cowboy Ben. Boy! Young Jake, what's it to be? Dobbin or Samson? Um, maybe Dobbin. It's strange, isn't it, Samson? No one ever seems to want to ride you. <laughs> Never mind. You stay here and have a rest. Off we go then. Uh, Miss Jolly? Yes? How do we tell our snails to move? Tell them to trot on. Trot! On. On. <laughs> Let's go snail riding. <laughs> Wonderful day for a snail ride. What? Where are we going? Just around the meadow. Uh, Miss Jolly, Samson the slug is following us. Oh, I see. Keep going. I'll catch you up in a minute. Now then, you naughty slug. You're not meant to be on the ride. Back to the stables with you. <laughs> Keep up, everyone. Hmm, which way now? Miss Jolly said just round the meadow. Hmm, this way then. <laughs> Whoa! All right, elves, let's get these cabbages loaded. It's a bumper crop. Yes, we managed to keep all the pests off them this year. No green fly. No caterpillars. And most important of all, no snails. Snail alert! Snail alert! <laughs> Cabbages into the elf truck. Boy, get off me vegetables. Save the cabbages! Stop! Stop! What are these snails doing here? Uh, we're just doing a riding class. Come on! It's no good. They're eating faster than we can carry. Snails, stop! Oh, you cheeky little snails. Cheeky? They've eaten half our cabbages. Well, if you will grow such delicious cabbages, what do you expect? But, but... Children, did you all have a nice ride today? Yes! Thank you, Miss Jolly. It's a pleasure. And we should also say a jolly big thank you to Mr Elf for giving the snails such a lovely lunch. It was my pleasure. Mind you, if they're going to eat at your place again, they really like lettuce the best. Grow a bit of that next time. All right. <laughs> People think snails are a pest, but they're adorable, really. Yes, they're so lovely and cute and cuddly. 